and the European Union will continue sanctions against Russian Federation uh, because uh, for now it does not execute, it execute Minsk agreements. It was said by Chancellor of Germany Angela Merkel during her briefing with President of Ukraine Petro Poroshenko in Berlin. According to her sides, will continue negotiations in Norman format in order to keep previously discussed responsibilities. Also, leaders of states talk about free visa regime. Angela Merkel supported President of Ukraine concerning necessity of the rest free visa regime law adoption of, by Ukrainian Parliament. Economic support for Ukraine also was one of the topics for discussion. It was said that Ukraine will get financial aid further. The ceasefire cannot be partial. It is there or not. And I regret to state that so far it is not. And people still die on the front line both military and civilian. Russia and the militants are evidently not interested in peace and stability in Donbas. For Russia, the conflict in Donbas is an instrumental to keep destabilizing Ukraine. Lastly, it is obvious that sanction against Russia must stay in place till Russia and its proxy fully implement Minsk agreement and Russia gets out of Donbas. Minsk is now for almost a year closed. Minsk agreements were signed more than one year ago, and we have to say that, unfortunately, as this was earlier, we cannot see stable ceasefire. And this is the main condition for resolution of the conflict. We can observe that reduce of military action activeness, and it is good that we have found common points concerning Minsk agreements, but still, we have not found political consensus. We also discussed support for Ukraine in economic sphere. According to action plan by Bundestag, in 2015, Germany allocated 700 million euros to Ukraine. This year, we want to continue this aid.